All right, we got a big one here this time. PS3 games. And you know, whenever we buy up PS3 games here at the store, we end up getting like 50 or 60 or 10 million PS3 games. You can never just get one PS3 game, man. It's always someone bringing in like 50 games or some crap like that. But let's check it out. Let's get into it, man. We got Skyrim here. Everyone's favorite game, pretty much. You ask random, you go on Facebook and you're like, what's your favorite game? Skyrim. How much is Skyrim on the PS3? It's like five bucks, dude. PS3 games, dude. If you if you never played PS3, get into it, dude. Hundreds of hours in Skyrim. It's like five or ten bucks, maybe fifteen. Here we've got Call of Duty 4. Original Modern Warfare. Man, this game changed the world, dude. I remember when people in my high school were crazy, crazy in the modern warfare. Everybody in my school was playing it. And I'm not talking nerds like me. I'm talking socially well-adjusted people were playing Call of Duty. <laughs> though we didn't they didn't remain socially well adjusted for long though rest assured call of duty multiplayer turned us all into monsters but yeah i, I love the ps3 it's a good system sonic's ultimate genesis collection right here look another great game this still remains like the best genesis collection i think it's got sonic 3 on here which you can't even get sonic 3 on some of these new collections i don't know why or they changed the music to some Michael Jackson music copyright. That's the rumor, so I, I don't believe it for a second, but that's what people allege. Something like that. And yeah, there's just all sorts of games here for the PS3. Deadpool. Look at this. This is what awesome looks like me. That's right, Deadpool breaking the fourth wall. Even on his own game box. He's telling you why you need to buy his own game. <laughs> I'd forgotten the Deadpool game even came out until I made this video. I was like, oh yeah, there's a Deadpool video game. I don't think it did very well, but it was pretty cool we got it. I don't think it saw nearly as much success as the, the Deadpool movie. Dude, the Deadpool movie, that was a big release. Call of Duty Ghosts, good stuff, good stuff. I mean, there's a ton of Call of Duty games for the PS3 era, dude. We had Modern Warfare 1 through 3, you had Black Ops, you had Ghosts. There's probably a few I'm missing. Here's NASCAR 14, but there's not even a NASCAR on the cover, dude. It's just some dude, it's just a racer looking at you. He looks like he's trying to get picked up for a ride here. <laughs> he needs you to pick him up from the mall. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Good racing games. I always prefer to burn out myself. I was more of a burnout guy. Mostly because of the crash mode, man. Burnout's crash mode. You can't beat it, dude. I mean, that's why people like me play racing games. Is to crash our car. And burnout's like, you know what? Here's an entire game mode where the objective is to crash into as many cars as possible and <laughs> kill as many people as possible, basically. It was fun stuff. Yeah, PS4 or PS3 just had good stuff, man. Here's Injustice. They had like DC fighting games. Metal Gear Solid 4. Here's a good one. Legendary game. I played the hell out of Metal Gear Solid 4 multiplayer. The multiplayer mode in this game was fantastic. Now, people were absurdly good at it. But you know what? It was still fun. I, I definitely ran around choke slam people and freaking interrogated them and stuff. You could do the whole CQC thing in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 multiplayer. It was good stuff. Here's Modern Warfare 2. I was just talking about it earlier. Probably the only game... I don't know if, what was bigger. Modern Warfare 1 or 2. Black Ops 2 was pretty big too. But Modern Warfare 1, I was, I was still in high school. So I, whoa, oh, hold on. Look at this basketball cover. <laughs> dude, how could you, how could they give this the final seal of approval, dude? That is the most messed up looking sports cover I've ever seen, dude. The basketball player looks so fake on there. 
Oh my god. <laughs> As I was saying, Modern Warfare 1 was huge, huge in high school for me. So I, I never got a feel for how big the other games were. There, Dead Space there. Another great game. And here's another great series right here. Bioshock. People, another game people swear the best game ever. Bioshock. I, I streamed this for the first time. I actually beat this game not too long ago. And it is a great game. This is like people's, you know, favorite game ever. Much like Skyrim. They're like, yeah, Bioshock is the best story in any video game ever. And it is a pretty damn good story, honestly. Really cool world. A lot of combat. Way more combat than I thought there would be. That's fun stuff. It makes me want to play Bioshock 2. And what else we got here? Black Ops. I really know the... I never really played much Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 1, I admit. I played the original Call of Duty, Call of Duty 1 and 2. I played that on PC quite a bit. And then Modern Warfare was pretty fun, but I never got into Black Ops, Black Ops 2 as much. Played a little bit. L.A. Noir. This is a game I gotta get around to playing one day. I should add it to the streaming games. Mystery game. Detective mystery game. You go around, solve crimes. Or so I'm told. I heard it's really good. Great voice acting. I mean, it's a rock star game. Here's Red Dead Redemption. Another legendary game. Pretty much only surpassed by Red Dead Redemption 2. If you at all like uh, westerns, or even enjoy the setting of the Wild West, dude, you've got to play Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. It's just crazy how much detail are in both of those games. Rockstar really is... I, they're like yin, yin and yang over here. They've got Grand Theft Auto 5 that they're just constantly pushing out all these random updates for. And then they put out... <laughs> they have that on one side. And then on the other side, they have Red Dead Redemption 2, which is like the most realistic, <laughs> immersive game ever made, basically. It, it's wild. They, they just hit like both sides of the extreme. They're a very talented uh, developer, I gotta say. And you got some sports games. I like showing off the weird covers on sports games. It's hilarious what they put on the sports games covers. Sean White snowboarding. Some snowboarding games for all you snowboarding fans. I, I want to try SSX. I heard that's a really good snowboarding game. I don't know if they're still making it, though. All right, what is this? Surf's Up. Oh, God. There's Unfortunately, they were still making these Disney... These Disney Pixar kids games. Dude, I... <laughs> a surfing penguin, apparently. Some things never change, man. Disney Pixar is up. I've, I've never seen up, but people claim it's like one of the best movies ever. I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of over the whole Pixar animated movies sort of thing, really. I've seen so many of them. FIFA Soccer 12, another copy of Skyrim. Here we go. Deus Ex. Dude, the PS3 is the system that brought back Deus Ex. Come on. How could you hate the PS3 after that? And I heard it was a good game, man. I never played it. Never played it. Want to play it. But I heard it's a legendary game. What we got here? Harry Potter and Deathly Hollows. Look at Harry Potter there. <laughs> Looks like he's ready to take on the world. But I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I've already expressed that on this channel. Sonic 06. Here's an infamous game. One of the buggiest games ever made. Any, just go watch people try to play this game. They'll just start glitching through the floor and running through walls and crap like that. It's sad to see, man, because Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, they were so much fun, man. They were such great games for the Dreamcast. But I don't know, man. The Sonic Sonic needs help, man. We gotta we need a 3D Sonic intervention. We need to sit Sonic down. Tell him they need to make some more good goddamn video games again. What is this? Time Crisis? Whoa! 
Time Crisis for the PS3. I don't even know they did like gun shooters for the PS3. Though I guess they had the PlayStation Move, so that makes sense. I've never tried the PlayStation Move. I can't get over how ridiculous that thing looks like. It's got these, like, light balls at the end of it. It, it looks so dumb, dude. I can't get over it. I'm sure it works good. I'm sure there's a lot of cool games made for it, but man. Oh, uh, what was that? Rainbow Six Vegas? Another good game. Far Cry 3? Dude, Far Cry 3 is the Far Cry that put the series on the map, dude. You could go hunt animals. It had a really cool story. All sort, Just go around, shoot everybody. Good time. Resident Evil Revelations. Another classic game here. This is the one where uh, it takes place on a ship. Which is an awesome setting for a zombie movie, dude. Or a zombie game. Yeah, I'd watch a zombie movie, too. It takes place on a ship. Lost Planet. Extreme Condition. They, just, they should make a zombie version of the Titanic. That's what we need. The real story behind the Titanic. It didn't, it didn't crash in an iceberg. There was a zombie outbreak. <laughs> that's what killed everybody. That'd be pretty funny. Dude, that, that's my million dollar idea right there. What do we got? Hunting games. All sorts of stuff. These hunting games also look pretty, pretty funny to me. Bad Company 2. Dude, I put so many hours into Bad Company 2. It's still, to this day, to this day, Battlefield Bad Company 2 is the best Battlefield game. I don't care what other people have to say. It's the best one. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Good game. But it was originally on the PS2. I didn't know they brought it out on the PS3. That's pretty wild. We got Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Pretty cool stuff, being a pirate assassin. Honestly, we need more pirate games in general. They just perfect for this day and age of gaming, honestly. You got Black Ops 2. Really, it's just all sorts of good stuff for the PS3, man. It's a good system, and much like the PS4 or the Xbox 360, PS3 games are still incredibly cheap. You just walk right in, get a PS3, and grab a whole bunch of games for pretty much nothing. It's a good deal. What is this, another Call of Duty game? There's a lot of Call of Duties, okay? Here's another Call of Duty game. <laughs> There's a lot of Call of Duty going on on the PS3, all right? Conflict Denied Ops. I, I have no idea what this game is. What is this? First person shooter? Okay. Sounds good to me. Some co op first person shooting. Here's another one Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I played a lot of Oblivion on the PS3, man. Really fun. I never accomplished much, but I would kind of just wander around the world. I didn't play nearly as much as Fallout 3, but uh, it, it was a lot of fun still. Yeah, let's, what, uh, we got anything else in here? Portal 2, really fun puzzle game. Even co-op too, apparently. It's pretty cool. Start thinking with portals, oh boy. He plays the robots this time too, which is pretty cute. Borderlands, Borderlands 1 and 2, dude. Another great series that got started on the PS3. People swear by this game, man. And it's a really fun game. I can't hold it against them. Let's see, anything else in here? Oh, I'll, I'll show off Tom Clancy Hawks. People don't know this. They actually made a uh, flying game. The Tom Clancy universe. It's not just uh, squad-based military shooters. It's actually Tom Clancy Hawks 1 and 2, which are games like Ace Combat. So I really liked them. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Once again, I want to say thank you to everybody for coming in and watching the video. And hey, if you guys are looking for these old games, or if you're looking to sell them, reach out to us on our Facebook page. We buy and sell this stuff all the time, guys. And it's good times. Stick around for the next video, or check out our stream every weekday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Twitch. You can find the link in the description. 
Till next time, guys.